Today we're going to take a slice of pizza and we're going to place it over an image of New York City. So we're going to have some pizza in New York. So the first thing we're going to do, this is our selection image. We're going to select the pizza and then we're going to copy it and paste it on top of our background image. So first of all, we come over here to the toolbar, click on the quick selection tool, which gives us the quick selection mini menu up here. We're going to hit select subject and it selects the pizza area there plus a little bit extra. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click and say deselect and then we're going to hold down the mouse and drag it over the area of the pizza and see if we can get everything selected that way. So that is, uh, you know, there's multiple ways to do everything in Photoshop. Uh, this is another way. You can see there's a plus sign there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to see that we didn't quite get everything there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the left bracket key here and I'm going to add that little bit there. Okay, that's a little too much. We're going to hit the Alt or the Option key there. We're going to go around while zoomed in. I'm holding down the space bar and you can see when I hold down the space bar that the uh, tool automatically changes to the grabber hand. And so while I'm zoomed in, I can just hold down on the space bar and it allows me to just grab the image and kind of rotate around the image. So there we, oops, hit Control Z, Command Z. And so I'm going to hold down the Alt key to bring that in there a little bit with that. And so for this image, I think we've done pretty good. Sometimes on an image, uh, this is kind of against a white background and everything here, uh, differences in colors and uh, density and everything. So it made it pretty easy. Sometimes we do go down and do the red mask. Uh, today, I don't think we're going to need that. So what I'm going to do now, we've got this selected. I'm going to right click on the image and I'm going to click layer via copy. Now, like I say, I like layer via copy because a layer via cut cuts it out and then you have a cutout part and then the, uh, the background. I like layer via copy because it, it keeps the background just like it was. And if I click on the little eye here, which uh, de deactivates actually that layer and uh, takes it away from what you're seeing, we can see that I've got a top layer here uh, with just uh, the area of the pizza here. Now, if I wanted to save this, I would probably turn it on like that. Uh, I would come over and hit File, Save As, and then I would hit Save, and I would replace it with the one that has the background, the, the, the image, just like it was, plus the background image. Now I'm going to click that off just so I'm seeing just this one. Come over to the toolbar since I have it already copied and I want to move it. I'm going to click on the move tool up here. I'm going to grab the top here, hold down on the left side of the mouse, drag this down a little bit, and then I'm going to, I can drag the, the image from here or here. I'm going to grab it here. I'm going to drag and drop it on top of the background of New York City. Once I've done that, and have already saved this, I'm going to hit close and it's going, do you want to save it? And I'm going to, you know, I can hit yes or no. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes because uh, it's everything I wanted there. And now we have a huge slice of pizza sitting on New York City. And if we want to, we can come over here and hit command or control T and that will allow us to tilt the slice of pizza if we want to. Uh, whatever direction we would like to. We can do a 360 here. Uh, we can also make it a little bit smaller so we get a little more background behind it. So we're going to make it a little bit smaller there. And I think I may give it a little bit of a tilt like that. That's kind of fun. Uh, it's kind of like you're reaching in to grab the piece of pizza. So uh, it may be just a little smaller holding down shift to uh, before we drag it from the corner. We drag from the corners, not from the sides. We drag from the corner and holding down shift uh, allows us to drag it to where it's, if you don't hold down shift, uh, the whole thing can just go any direction you want. So holding down shift 
and dragging it uh, keeps the proportions of your image that you brought over. So now we're going to come up. I could say I don't want it or yes, I do want it. So I'm going to click right there. And now we have a pizza on top of New York City. Now, to have a little more fun with this, I'm going to click on the background layer over here and I'm going to click, come down here to the adjustment layer, the little symbol that uh, is half uh, black circle, half white circle. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose black and white. And now you can see, wow, I've got a color image on top of a black and white image. And I'm going <clears> to, <throat> from up here, you can see under black and white, I can change things. If I grab the green deal, whatever was green in the image is going to be changed. If I grab blues, see how that's changing the background with the sky getting a little more there. So I'm going to bring that over a little bit, get a little more clouds in the sky there. Uh, the reds, whatever was red in the image, I pull back and forth. So it's kind of fun. You can change different areas of the image just using uh, these here, cyan. So do you see how you can change the image with these little sliders when you're doing black and white? So I've kind of adjusted the image underneath. If I want to tint it, I hit tint and now I have a brown tone to it. Clicking there, I can change how much of a tint I can choose what color of a tint. I can make it a, a bluish, I can make it yellowish, uh, I can make it orangish. So there's so many fun things you can do in here. Let's go ahead and make this a little bit uh, just on the classic. Uh, let, let's go with back with what we had. The, the, the starting tint is kind of a nice brown tone. So we're going to click OK there. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a dark vignette. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and double click on the properties over here to close that. I'm going to come back here to background. I'm going to duplicate it. Uh, it's just a habit I have of, of duplicating the background. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to come up to curves and I'm going to darken the whole thing. So you can lighten or darken the background independently of the pizza. Uh, by placing it below the pizza layer. So the adjustment layer affects whatever is below it. And so you can see we have the background below the adjustment layer and the pizza is not. So now if I come over, grab that little eraser tool again, and I'm at a pretty soft range there, I can actually sort of erase underneath the pizza which kind of makes it stand out a little bit more. So you can see there's the pizza regular. There it is that way. And to be truthful, I kind of like it better without, well, let's, let's come up to opacity and we can bring it just that little bit there. And so after you do something, you may decide I like it better without or with, uh, we're going to go with, but it's, it's always a creative choice. And so now, so if you ever want to do, uh, here's a part color image, part black and white image. Uh, you can actually, with layers, uh, bring in an adjustment layer that sets the black and white for the background image. And so the top image will be color. And then underneath that, you have the adjustment layer for black and white. That will make the bottom layer, the background layer, black and white. So we're going to go ahead and save this. We're going to come over here and hit Save As. And we're going to save it. We're going to title this. Pizza. That is not how you spell pizza. New York. And a little dash there. And so we're going to save this as the combination image. And so now we have it saved that way. Now, if you go, well, what if I wanted the top image to be black and white and the bottom image to be in color? Well, you can actually move uh, these around. You can move layers around. So if I grab the black and white layer, 
adjustment layer and pull it up till I see the little blue lines and release it. Now the pizza is black and white and the background's black and white. But I want the pizza to be black and white and the background to be color. To do that, we simply right click on the adjustment layer and say merge down. And now do you see we have the color, the background in color and the pizza in black and white. So you can uh, adjustment layers, whatever is beneath them uh, is affected by them. You can move it above something. And when you do that, it affects everything below it unless you merge it with the one right below it. And then it affects just that layer. So the, here we have, let's take a step back because I kind of like it better the other way. So here we have a piece of pizza with black and white uh, brown tone in the background. We selected the, the pizza, we copied it, we pasted it on the background. We uh, selected the background copy or we selected the background layer. Then we did an adjustment layer where we said, hey, please turn this to black and white. Then we uh, played with the levers in black and white to affect the black and white image of the background. And that gave us a picture where we have a piece of pizza on top of the background, which is in brown tone. So hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Hope you got some tips and tricks uh, that will inspire you when you're working with your own photographs. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video.